Yes. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. In this one, we are going to talk about ticket symbol LAC, Lithium America. So this is a company that we cover here on the channel. I introduced you guys to this company uh, a while back. And um, ever since then, we had some development that pushed the price of the stock from our entry uh, a point of about $11 to up to about $28 um, before pulling back. So uh, again, this is a company that I think has uh, massive potential, uh, but the risk is also very high. So I want to give you guys um, my game plan uh, for the stock moving forward that can potentially make us uh, some good money or could be a good swing trade for the next uh, three three months or so. So that's what I want us to cover here. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. If you are new to the channel, I'm going to hook up the video that I did up here so you can definitely go check out um, in depth about the company, what they do or what they plan on doing and why I think uh, this is a potential uh, good source for you know, us to make a lot of money. Uh, but at the same time, there is um, a high risk. So this is a high risk, high reward kind of a situation. If you are OK taking that risk then definitely consider this one. So. Just to give you guys some context, um, they are actually in the process of um, looking for um, lithium mines in Argentina and in Nevada. So they have two um, facilities right now. Um, just so you know, all these two facilities are still in progress. They haven't started uh, uh, production yet. So production in Argentina, it looks like it's going to start in by 2022 our second quarter of 2022 and then production in Nevada. If everything goes uh, uh, as expected, get your, get your permits and everything, then this one would surely start in 2023. So again, definitely go check them out, read about the company and see what they are doing. So the catalyst that I actually see for this company um, that would might give us some, some, you know, a good run here in the future is the fact that the Biden administration, um, as you can see here, the energy secretary um, says that U.S. want responsible lithium mining. So they're pushing, um, you know, these clean energy electric vehicles. And we've seen companies like um, GM, companies like Ford uh, come out and make pledges. Um, GM says they're going to stop making fossil fuel cars by 2030. Um, and then Ford also said they're going to start their transition. And then obviously we have major companies like Tesla that are in the space of EV and other up and coming EV companies that we know here in America, um, like from the workhorses and Nikola and all these other companies that would kind of benefit from uh, these batteries that they're producing from the lithium that's mined. So that's why I think that to keep up with the supply chain of lithium, we are going to need a ton of lithium. So right now, lithium is not really uh, mass produced in the United States. You have other companies, uh, other countries that are leading that. that. So China is like the number one uh, uh, producer of uh, solar energy. So Biden administration is trying to make uh, the U.S. number one in lithium. So Again, if they're pushing it and then we see that somehow they, this company is going to benefit from. And right now, uh, the location that they have in Nevada, um, this location in Nevada currently uh, would produce a ton of lithium to supply or to maintain the supply. And so the U.S. doesn't have to depend on other suppliers outside the U.S. We're talking about China, Australia, um, Zimbabwe. Um, to supply them, you know, lithium. Because again, we, we've seen what happened with uh, COVID-19 where your supply chain is dependent on other countries outside the U.S. and then we have a pandemic. It, what end up happening is uh, the U.S. suffers prices of uh, goods and services go up because of the supply chain. So they're trying to make sure that we uh, mine lithium here in the United States. So again, this, this facility right here is prime. 
So I'll give you guys a little bit of background what's already happened. So when I first introduced this stock um, on the channel, um, again, I said, I'm just looking at the supply chain and here is my uh, way of looking at this EV revolution. So if you think about how the, the fossil fuel industry was structured, replace that with EV, it's gonna have the same supply chain but just the, the products are going to be different. So instead of mining for crude oil or drilling for crude oil, we are going to be mining lithium. And then they will take that lithium, process that, and make it into batteries. And so once those batteries are ready, they'll use them in producing electric vehicles. And when those batteries get old or the vehicles get old, we now have to take those batteries out and recycle them. Um, I'm looking at one company that I'm gonna put in, in portfolio that has uh, a lithium mining background. I want a company that do, does batteries. I want a company that builds electric vehicle and I want a company that recycles lithium. So that would be my full supply chain. So from a lithium mining perspective, I'm looking at um, Lithium America because of the high risk, high reward. Uh, from a battery standpoint, you have Quantum Skip that's in the making, but they have a ton of competition there. We have Tesla. And then from an electric vehicle standpoint, obviously we have Tesla, we have Lucid Models. And then from a battery recycling standpoint, we have uh, Redwood Material, which was actually started by uh, one of um, uh, the engineers from Tesla. So he said that Redwood Material, the recycling lithium from any lithium battery, um, not just EV. So if you have a, any lithium battery, you ship it to them, they'll extract the lithium out of that and recycle it. And what they're saying is when you recycle lithium, it's good for the environment because it means less mining, uh, less pollution, which is what um, Lithium America right now is trying to fight uh, to get through to get the approvers. So now that I gave you the background of the supply chain, um, now is where is Lithium America currently in their process of uh, on the road to production? Again, like I said, their um, Argentina plan is on track. Uh, uh, construction is currently going on and they plan on starting production by I think second quarter of 2022, like I said earlier. Now with their uh, Nevada uh, uh, facility, They've gone through their feasibility study. They've tested the area. See, it has high quality lithium that could be used for battery manufacturing. And then last year, the Trump administration actually gave them their federal approval. So that was a good thing. That was a great catalyst that drove the price of this stock. Price of the stock went to as high as uh, uh, twenty about twenty eight dollars. And then, and so that was early January when the Trump administration actually approved that. But since then, uh, the prices pulled down a little bit because that was that really sweet catalyst. So what I'm looking at right now is another approval that's going to be coming up here in the next couple of months of at the state level. So the federal level um, approver is complete. Uh, and then the state level is what we're looking at right now. So uh, the Nevada Division of Environmental Protection has uh, two main things that they have to worry about. Uh, the Bureau of Mining Regulations and Reclamation, and then the Bureau of Air Pollution. So if those two departments um, from the Nevada Department of Environmental Protection approve this plan, then we're golden. We're gonna see massive spike in the stock. And that's why uh, I'm saying right now that at these current levels of the stock, at where the stock is currently trading right now. So if we go back right here at these levels, I'm looking like, hey, there's an opportunity here, um, even under 13 um, to, to, to really uh, you know, load up. This would have been a good point right here to buy, buy the dips um, of the stock before that day. So again, if we can buy these dips here and hold it and then ride it out to maybe that uh, 15 to $20 price point if this thing comes true. But I want you to be smart. So this is, again, it's not like this is gonna happen as planned. So the reverse could be true. If that, if the Nevada Division of Environmental Protection um, deny the approver, guess what's gonna happen? We're gonna see a sharp pullback of the stock. So you have to be very smart about this one. So if you go in the stock, 
um, I would say um, put a stop loss just in case if the approval doesn't come out and the, the way we want it to come out and then you don't want to sit there um, holding this because um, yeah, you're going to see it's going to be a falling knife if they if they refuse uh, to approve their, their permit. So again, like I said, they have this coming up sometime in July or August. We should be expecting um, this approval. And again, if the approval goes through, major, major catalyst. Um, the other thing that I actually uh, found out doing some research for this is the fact that uh, the approval process that the Bureau of Air Pollution actually uses, they have a, a second phase or second stage approval, which can actually delay even uh, more so six months to a year. So that's something that we just have to be aware of. So um, so if they approve the first phase, um, the phase two can actually you know, be held because for whatever reason, for political reason, for environmental reasons, for whatever reason, they can actually slow the process. But I'm super excited. I think this is um, a great opportunity. Um, again, it's high risk, high reward, in my opinion. We've already gone through phase one that was approved by the federal level at the federal level. And now we're looking at phase two that's coming up um, if this does go through. Um, the one thing that gives me uh, comfort, and I think that this thing is going to go through, is the fact that um, they have the federal level backing. Um, they have uh, the governor of Nevada actually backs this. Um, they have Nevada tax breaks that they're going to they're going to get. And then again, if you put all those things together with the Biden administration pushing strong for um, you know clean energy, climate change. I think that this thing is going to go through. The project is going to be approved, and that's going to be a good catalyst. So, again, that's my personal opinion. That's how I'm anticipating that this would go through. But I don't work for these guys, so I don't know. I'm just looking at all the information that uh, I've actually researched, putting it together. It's pointing towards this being approved. So that is uh, where we stand again. Uh, just so you guys know, um, this is one where the risk is very high and the reward is very high. So if you get in the stock and um, you don't have a stop loss, I would encourage you to put a stop loss. Pick your percentage. If it's, if you say 10%, 5%, whatever you want to lose. Because like I said, if this thing comes out and they say, oh, their permit was denied, you're going to see a sharp pullback and i don't want you to be in there when that pullback happens so again let me know in the comment section what you guys think about lithium america do you own it did you buy lithium america when we first introduced it here on the channel i think back then it was trading about 11 bucks like i said it seems squeeze up all the way to about 28 before pulling back to even 13 where it's actually consolidating right now so after this consolidation, I think the next logical step is this. The next logical catalyst would be this permit being uh, approved at the state level. That would make the stock run. So that's my take. Let me know in the comment section what you think. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.